close your eyes and watch your breath. Use the breath to bring the body and the mind into harmony. When you breathe in a way that's soothing for the body, it's a good place for the mind to stay. The mind can then settle down. They're on good terms with each other. A lot of happiness comes from harmony, both inside and out. We talk a lot about finding harmony inside, but there are also ways of finding harmony outside as well. There are four qualities that the Buddha talked about that create harmony in a group. The first one is generosity. You're giving of your time, you're giving of your energy, you're giving of your powers of observation. You look together, you don't need to be told what, has, what needs to be done. You look around, you see what needs to be done. And the other people appreciate that. The second quality is kind words. You need to find the kind way to say something, find that way to say it, and say it that way. And if you have something critical to say, try to find, put it in a way that the other person will be ready to receive it. In other words, look at the situation, get the person off to the side so it's not in front of a lot of other people, and do it in a way that shows respect. One of the most damaging things for anything, any relationship is contempt. So you don't have any contempt for each other, you have respect for one another. And you show that respect not only in the nice things you say to the other people, but when you're saying something critical, you say it in a way that shows respect. And the other person is much more likely to listen. The third quality is being genuinely helpful. And what the other person really needs, that's the kind of help you give. You don't make help, or give help just to show or make a big show of it. It's you see this person really needs something and you have the ability to provide for it, whether it's material things or other immaterial things. Provide the kind of help the person really needs. And then finally, consistency. The way you treat the person to their face is the way you treat them behind their back. And the way you've helped them in the past, you continue to help them on into the future. That kind of consistency is what makes people trust one another. We have these four qualities in any group, the group is going to last for a long time. If any one of them is missing, there are going to be problems. So as you go through the day and you're living with other people, think about these four qualities as ways of creating harmony in the group. There are so many ways we have of creating disharmony in our groups, in our society. So whatever group you're responsible for, whatever group you're a part of, try to see if you can do your best to bring harmony to that group by being generous, by being kind in your words by being genuinely helpful and being consistent. That way the harmony is not just a matter of friendly words and smiles. It's a harmony that goes deep down inside, it goes to the heart, and that kind of group will last long.